welcome back to the show. Now, did you know that 50% of married men cheat on their wives and the woman they cheat on happens to be younger than their wife? And one man knows that all too well and that's Dr. Chetan. Relax, relax, I'm talking about the character Dr. Chetan in the play Whose Wife Is She Anyway? Whose wife is she anyway? Whose wife is she anyway? Hmm. Whose wife is she anyway? Whose wife is she anyway? Whose wife is she anyway? Hushed whispers, inquisitive glances. You know right away that this is a question on everyone's lips at the Sivagami Petachi Auditorium. The Madras players, in association with Theatre Impresario, were the masterminds behind their latest production by the same name. Whose wife is she anyway? Inspired by 20th century farce and George Fedu's work, The Lady from Maxims, the play takes on an Indian avatar with the petite Sunanda Raghunathan playing the feisty bar dancer Chandni. And where does she wake up one shameful morning after? In the rather hungover, absent-minded Dr. Chetan Chauhan's room, played by Amitash Pradhan. How is it putting together whose wife is she anyway? What was probably your challenge here? We had a 24-member cast, so that itself was a huge challenge. And I think the fact that we all came together so well, it didn't look like a challenge. Initially, of course, it did, but then after everyone came together and the show just happened, I, I, it just came out. And I'm, I'm really, I think all of us are really pleased by that fact, so no challenge there. For example, we had a French play going on on stage. People do not have probably got the jokes as much as they've got now. So since we adapted it for the Indian standard and the dance and the song, we made it like, we wanted to give it this Bollywood feel. So I think. There, we all worked together and our choreographers did a wonderful job and so did the music director. So I think that just fell into place. Oh, woman, I've got a sneak kiss for me. Arise at once. Without hesitating a moment, go to New Delhi session back on 7 and walk up and down five times. <laughs> I think the toughest part was to match everyone's energy because I come in like 10 minutes into the play so I have to make sure that I don't come and bring anything down so I it's a huge responsibility like you said uh, if I'm tying the play together it's such a big responsibility for me to make sure that they don't look at me and say well, I don't know do I want to watch this again I'm hoping people want to the play tells a story of a doctor who wakes up to remember nothing of his previous night out if that spells trouble for him with his over-religious wife, played by Nandini Krishnan, the sudden visit of his uncle only brings more trouble for the doctor. What follows is a chaotic yet rip-tickling line of events, with Chandani being mistaken as a doctor's real wife and the poor wife being taken as a lousy mistress. So whose wife is she anyway? Directed by V. Balakrishnan, the play lacks nothing of a Hindi masaladar film. Why were you in my bed? Oh, come on! Why was I in your bed? So did you get the answer to whose wife is she anyway after the play? Uh, believe me, I'm not looking for the answer and uh, I don't think I want to know the answer. <laughs> set this play apart from all the other plays in Chennai? Uh, I don't know, I think it kind of follows the trend of plays which are happening in Chennai, a lot of comedies are happening, but a French farce in that sense, you know, it's something different which is happening. There you are! That didn't hurt! Oh, no. <laughs> Song and dance routines to the family feuds and affairs. The visual spectacle sure hit upon the right notes for most part of the evening, despite the frequent blackouts. Do you know where your spouse is right now? Well, if you have an interesting story that you'd like to share, 
Then send it into feedback at ndtv-hindu.com and I'll do you a favor and forward it to the director of the play. Who knows, you might just make a good inspiration for his next play. Moving on. A marriage of Nali Silks and Kumaran Silks gives birth to Sri Palam Silks. Who I'm referring to is Jashri Rabi, who's the daughter of Mr. Nali Kupaswami Shetty of Nali fame. Saris are considered one of the most sensual outfits for a woman, which is why this lady has taken saris from just being patapadavas to a lot more, and she's not leaving any stone unturned. Silk, silk and more silk. That's what this evening of fashion had in store. And if you thought it was all about Kanchipurams, then think again. Hotel Park Sheraton's already posh ambience was glammed up by models sashing down the ramp wearing the latest creations by Sri Palam Silks. Silk Line 2011 hosted by Silkworm herself, Jai Sri Ravi, showcased four different styles of patapodawares. The idea is to have this handloom piercing applicable to all set of audience. So that is basically it. So then we have the casual silks where you, have, we can, you can wear it at any occasion. Uh, an evening wear, party wear. People have started wearing saris now. We have the Ahavanya collections. Then we have the Antariksha, which is, depicts the day and night, the sky the day sky as well as the night sky. That was one uh, challenge for us because bringing to life the blue and the white uh, as in the sky is very, very difficult in handling. So that is the Antariksha. Then we have the Trikantika and uh, some Karshana. And the Varshika is something very special to me because it's in uh, black base and you have the colorful Meena work. So I think that is something you would love to wear at an evening. It's a second year in concession, succession rather for us. And we did uh, Silk Line 2010 last year. It was a grand success and as promised, we've uh, made it probably uh, 10 notches bigger and better. So here we are at uh, Silk Line 2011. Having an entry in a dholi like this, it's something, a very different entry, uh, one would love to experience it. I want to pick up some few saris since uh, my sister is getting married and uh, they really have some good collections. Saris with new concepts was the order of the day. Every bride needs to look her best with the Mohurtam saris, featuring authentic Kanji Purams. Going classic, the black and white collection is a party sari all the way. Love tattoos but scared of the pain? Now you can wear your tattoo on your sari. And finally, corporate wear can be more than just pants and formal shirts. Look trendy and oh so classy with the corporate range of saris. I think this show is really fabulous. It's got a lot of contemporary saris that are um, very relevant to you know today's woman, um, and it can be used in any context and any occasion.
वाव खुद थिंक ऑफ डिजाइनिंग सारीज इन सो मेनी डिफरेंट वेज जय श्री रवि's silky smooth collection is available at her store in Pondi Bazaar so pay a visit if you like a twist in your saree collection a party equation with september fashion statements party moves and more